What's up YouTube? It's Jordan here with J-Dubs Aquatics. Uh, today I have a video for you guys on my DIY light mounts. Um, I had a couple requests on a closer look at how to build these. So in today's video I decided I'll do a how-to on how to build yourself some clean looking DIY light mounts for under $25 for a pair of them um, for your Chinese 165 watt LEDs. So what you'll need for this project is some scrap wood. I don't have the exact measurements, but I believe it's like an inch and a half by three quarters. Um, you can, if you don't have some laying around, you can probably get some at a local lumber yard for under 10 bucks for what you're gonna need. So you'll need some scrap wood, um, a can of paint. I used spray paint. It was like a black Krylon spray paint or something like that. $5 for the spray paint. Um, it was, I think, two bucks for a package of these Velcro straps, and that's what holds the wires on so you don't have to see the wires so much. Um, and then there was about ten dollars in hardware. So you're looking at right about twenty five dollars, maybe thirty dollars tops for all of the uh, parts that you need to build these. And it was really, really simple. Um, all I did was I uh, measured the length I needed to get my lights um, at the right height. I have my lights at 11 inches above the water line. Um, that's you know you can you can choose what you what height you want to go with these lights, and you could probably even modify it uh, to make it adjustable. But in my case, um, I've already been running one of these lights for a while, and I knew what height I wanted to put it. So I've got them 11 inches above the water line, and they're mounted with two bolts into the back of the stand. And now right here, I do have a piece of styrofoam temporarily uh, because they were wobbling a bit without that. So I think I'm going to modify them again, maybe put in a little piece of wood right here, uh, screwed into the back of it so it rests against the back of the tank. And that will keep it more secure. Um, so anyway, at this hinge here, there's just a uh, little L bracket with four screws, four small screws holding that in place. And then there is two screws in the back of this. I believe they're three inch screws in the back of this um, holding this part together at the joint. Um, so that's all it is really. And then a couple of coats of paint. And um, up at this part, there's just about a four inch piece of scrap wood here, about a four inch piece here. And that's just bolted on there. And then there's one bolt going through the center of that holding that in place so you can actually swivel it if you want I would have to loosen the bolt up a bit but if you want you can swivel that a little bit um, so they are slightly adjustable but other than that the uh, hanging kit I did not use at all I just put the screw right through where these um, little brackets are this is where the um, hanging kit was mounted originally so I put the screws right through them into the wood and uh, that's how I mounted them. Uh, the fans, you can see it's just slightly covered, just a tiny bit in that corner on each side, but it's not enough to be a problem. The fans still run fine and push plenty of air out to keep the uh, lights running cool. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's my video on these DIY light mounts. Um, it was about $25 to put the whole thing together for two mounts, um, and they look great. You don't have to see any wires. So, hope you guys enjoy. Hope you learned something, and uh, hope maybe I inspired a couple people to uh, put yourself together some cheap light mounts so you don't have to have a tacky light hanging kit. Thanks for watching, and happy fish keeping.